Welcome back to Iastack. In this video, I am going to show you that how you can create a dialogue or model by using Tailwind CSS very easily. So I already have set up my Tailwind CSS project with a very basic HTML file and I am running my Tailwind CSS by using this script that you can see. So if you want, if you did not set up your Tailwind CSS or if you want to learn how to set it up, you can just go to my playlist in YouTube and learn from there. Once you have the project ready and running, you can come here and uh, resume and then uh, we will start working. So first of all, I want to add a button here. So for example, there is a button called open model. And you can see that it is visible now. I will style it a little bit and padding a rounded perfect. Okay, now if I click on that, I want to show that dialogue. So first of all, let us design that dialogue. So in a dialogue or model, there should be a overlay. So the parent would be the overlay. So here I can add some classes so for example fixed and left zero top zero and bg should be okay i will simply give it the blacker and then i will uh, adjust a, its opacity so maybe for example 50 percent also, I want width should be equal to the width of screen and height also should be equal to the height of screen. Okay, you can see that if I don't add this BG opacity, then it will be totally black. But I want to see the content behind it that will make it look good. Look good. So anyways, now we have the overlay setup. After that, I want to add the div that will have the styles for the model like BG white and rounded and shadow MD and padding should be I guess 8 maybe okay Now I will add flex here to the parent so that we could bring the dialogue in the middle. So I would use justify center to bring it uh, horizontally in the middle and item center to bring it vertically in the middle. All right. Now I will give it a specific width. For example, I want to use width of 60% maybe. Uh, that is too much so let me try 60 per uh, 40 percent or 30 percent i think this is fine so now i will add my heading so basically there will be two uh, columns in this so first of all i want flex here so that we could have columns structure in it so very first thing i want to add an icon so maybe warning icon okay copy svg so this is a very nice website hero icons that is created by the makers of tailwind css you can uh, use freely use the icons from their website so i got the svg save it and you can see the icon is here i want to add a div around it or maybe i can just use this one so add class 
and add bg red so maybe this one and i want to add the bg opacity i guess or you can simply instead of using opacity you can use the lower value for the shade so maybe 400 or maybe 200 i also want rounded full to make it circle and also i want text to be red okay and <clears throat> uh, let me try this i also want some padding around or maybe padding or width so i will give it a width of 10 maybe and h of 10 i also want to bring it in the middle so for that for i have to add flex uh, item center and justify center okay now on the right side i need to add the title and the paragraph so h1 maybe deactivate account and in the paragraph i will add some text for example are you sure you want to deactivate your account all of your data will be permanently removed this action cannot be undone so whatever you can write it here so this is how it is looking right now but this is not not what we want because it is looking very bad first thing is that i want a gap between these two gap of five i guess also the shape of the circle has become very bad so maybe i need to add flex grow here nope so yes to fix that problem we need to add the minimum width and minimum height okay now it is fine so now we can start designing the title or heading so for that here i will add some classes like font bold text to excel or maybe excel or maybe lg and there should be margin bottom mb5 or 10 or 7 okay and the text color should also be changed I will decrease the width of the dialog further so for example instead of 30 percent i would use 25 and at the bottom we need to add the action buttons so first of all we need to create a place for the footer that will contain the buttons so here i will add the buttons cancel and the other one would be deactivate or whatever you want okay now i will add some classes like like bg gray okay and it is showing on the right side so we should fix the alignments of the parent
So first of all, I need to wrap everything in the another div, another div, and here I will have to add the flex. And here, so this is the flex. So now we have two elements, two child in this parent. And here I need to add the uh, column flex call. So that will bring everything in the vertical direction. Further, I don't want any padding around it. So from the parent of this dialog, I will have to remove the padding totally. So for that, just remove it. And now we will manually have to add the paddings. So for example, here I will add P8 maybe. And gap should be 8 or 6. And I don't want padding on the bottom, so P, PB should be 0. And now I can collapse it and I will add some padding here. So P should be 3. And the BG does not look good. And also you can see that there should be rounded border here, but after adding the footer, the border does not look uh, rounded. So to fix that to the parent, we need to add overflow hidden and that would fix it got it now here i will reduce the shade value and i think this is fine now i need to push everything on the right side so for that i will use justify and I did not add the flex that's why it was not working so just add flex here now i need some gap of five maybe or four and then we will start uh, designing it also i need to increase the padding on the horizontal direction so let's add px6 okay now i will design the deactivate first i will give it the bg red and this one and it should it also should be rounded and the px should be five or four and py should be three or maybe two is fine and the text should be white in it okay and there should be a cursor Uh, pointer also on hover we want bg red with a different shade like this okay after that i need to design the cancel button as well so let's do that and instead of making it red i will make it gray Actually, white should be fine. And I want to add the border, one pixel. And border should be gray. And the text should be black in this case. And if you hover on it, then we should make some other changes. So like, for example, I want to add gray and it should be lightest version of gray i guess that is fine <clears throat> and the border color should be the gray as well <clears throat> all right now if we click so by default we have to hide this dialog okay 
so to hide it i would use a opacity and hidden classes i also want the animation uh, on the opacity so for that i will add transition property and transition i guess for the opacity and also i want to set the duration of 500 milliseconds for the animation and now i will add the id dialog and on this button click i will call a function show dialog okay now create a script tag here at the bottom function show dialog or model and we will get the dialog let dialog is equal to document dot get element by id and give it the id that we want to select so this is the id okay now dialog dot class list and dot add first of all i want to remove the hidden class okay and then i want to set the opacity so right now opacity is zero but if we will set the opacity then it will show it with the animation okay uh let me check what is the what are the possible values so opacity yeah we have opacity up to 100 so i should set the opacity 100 instead of 1 okay now you can see that it shows it but there is some problem that i can see here that when you remove the hidden class you also need to add another class before the op opacity that is flex to fix its alignment okay now let's try it by the way uh, i don't see any animation here the reason is that uh, it shows the uh, actually it was hidden and uh, that's why animation uh, is not working correctly so we can set the timeout period so for example set timeout and here we will show it after a little bit time wait so maybe 100 milliseconds or maybe 10 milliseconds 20 so let's try it yeah you can see that now it appeared with a very nice animation okay now we need to hide this dialog as well so i will create another function hide dialog and let's copy paste it in that function so now i i don't want to re, uh, hide it immediately i want to ha hide it after uh, opacity becomes zero so we will do the opposite in this case so let me actually remove everything and i will first high, uh, set the opacity zero that would be hidden with animation once animation is done and as we know that our duration of animation is 500 millisecond so i have added the time out of 500 so after 500 millisecond wait time period we want to add the hidden class and we want to remove the flex class okay let's try it now we did not call the hide dialog so let's add uh, call that function by clicking on the cancel okay i don't see any animation when i click on that so let's see what's wrong with that 
class list opacity zero. Let me comment that out for now. Let's see if the class was added or not. Uh, yeah, opacity 100. Actually, we have to remove the opacity 100 from it because there was 100 property was there as well. Now let's try it. Uh, we should use the remove function here to remove it. All right, perfect. Now I can uncomment all of this. Let's try it last time again. And you can see that it is working. And other thing that I want to implement is that if user clicks on anywhere outside of this dialog, then we should be able to close that dialog. So let's call this function on that overlay on click hide it so let's try it so i click on outside and it hides the dialog but if i click on anywhere inside of the, this dialog it will still hide it that's not what i want so to fix that to avoid that in the child element i will add on click and uh, i will use event dot stop immediate propagation it will not let the uh, travel the event signal back to the parent and it should save that us from issue so i'm clicking on this deactivate dialog it is not hiding but if i click outside of this dialog you can see it is working perfectly fine so that's all i wanted to show you in this video if this video was helpful for you, then please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos. And also please like and share this video. And if you have any questions or feedbacks, then please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you next time.